The, the idea here is using this technique is instead of listening and going, what's the best, we go, are there any clangers? And if there's a clanger, then we're going to audition something from one of our other vocal takes. So a clanger is like an Australian sports term, like a really bad thing. So like, oh my God, he went up for the mark and his pants fell down. What a clanger. But let's pause there to uh, give John's voice a rest and uh, do a little comping here, shall we? So we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, lead vocal take. The cool thing is you can come in here and you can see you can see how good a singer you are because you can put all four of these on at once. We can um, listen to the four vocals and see. Hopefully we've got some good vocals here that can be ready to be comped together. Or we just pick one that's good. Let's take a listen. All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see. Got this panic washing over me. So yeah, so there's a couple there where I've just, those notes I've gone a little bit longer on. So you can see there, if you come in here, the last take in particular, I hung around on that note a little bit longer and it meant that I didn't get the breath in there. I think it's probably going to sound better with one of these takes. So if you listen to say take three, that final note there, it's going to have the... Because oh, I don't know. And it's got the cos, whereas I think because I had the note too long, I don't think I hit the cos very well in this fourth take. Oh, because I don't know. Oh, <laughs> so it's not really, not really going to work for that one. Um, so let's, let's first of all, so there's two ways to comp. You, you go through and you audition each and every version, and then you go with the best version of each section or each word. Like some people get really full on with this stuff and they spend a lot of time. What I'm going to do is you folks said as I was recording that the third take was probably the best. And I think I agree with you. I think it had the most punky desperation. So I'm going to bring this up here to the top. And uh, in fact, let's just so I remember which one of which, let's, um, let's rename these with the take numbers. So this one's uh, take three. This one was take one. Just rename it real quick. Take one. This one here was take two. Rename take two. And this little piggy was take four. That way we'll remember what we did in each take. And then what are we going to do, folks? We're going to save, save, save. All right. So we've saved that one out there. All right. Now I've done some significant changes here. So we're also going to duplicate this track out. So we're now working on version seven. So we're ticking along here with our version numbers. And uh, if you don't know about version control, I've got a whole video on it. So uh, you can check out that. But basically all we're doing there is every time I make significant change, I come in here and I create a new version. You just tap and hold and hit duplicate and it will duplicate out that whole project. Now you need a bit of space because as you can see here, the project's about 350 megabytes now. So what, you, what I could start doing is going back and deleting some of those older versions that I'm not going to, to need. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go with just take three and I'm going to listen through. The, the idea here is using this technique is instead of listening and going, what's the best, we go, are there any clangers? And if there's a clanger, then we're going to audition something from one of our other vocal takes. So a clanger is like an Australian sports term, like a really bad thing. So like, oh my God, he went up for the mark and his pants fell down. What a clanger. So it basically means you've done something really bad and you need to uh, do something different. So let's, uh, let's take a listen to this track with this uh, vocal take and uh, we'll see if there's any clangers. <laughs> All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see Got this panic washing over me Have a fear of what might sing and what those circling sharks will bring Maybe I'll be safer on the shore Cause I don't know I really like all of that. I like the notes. So the the, the concern parts for me are the the whole really wet, the held notes. So The, the T on the talking heads there was probably just a little bit weak. Let's just listen again. Talking heads on the news. 
Talking, talking heads on the news. Talking heads on the news. So let's, for instance, just take a listen to uh, the second, I don't know what the vocal take one here. Talking heads on the news today. Telling me what to think. Talking heads on the news today. Yeah, see, that's a bit weak too. Let's uh, keep trying these. Put them up to the same volume. Talking heads on the news today. Telling me what to think and say. Some people won't come back from down below. So I, I can't. I actually prefer the talking heads on the news today from that one. So uh, what we're going to do is we'll start some comping here. Start the comping process. So we're going to split out there and split our original vocal. And we're going to replace. We're going to do a quick replacement. Uh, actually, what we're going to do first is I'm going to duplicate out this because I want to keep vocal three intact and then make this my comp vocal. So we'll just rename this as comp. So we know what we're doing here. And that way we can reuse both of these vocals if we want to. So here's the two that we're playing with. Uh, I'll just make sure that that's cut. Split it there. Uh, so I like everything from this one to start with. So we'll bring that up to the comp track. And then from here to here, I actually want to use this one. But I only want to use it through to about halfway. Talking heads on the news today, tell me what to think and say. So I reckon there is where we want to, because I like the some people don't come back from down below from take three. So we're going to leave that one there. This is going to be lifted out from there and popped into here. Boop. And there you go. So this one now is going to become our main track, this comp track at the top here. And the, the good thing is, if you use this method, you can see where you've pulled things from. So you can see that we've pulled the first bit from that take three, and then we've pulled this little bit where the gap is from lead two. And now we can go back to plan around and uh, see if lead three continues to do our thing. Some people will come back from down below. So I actually quite liked that little little accentuated breath at the end there. The low. Oh, on reflection, my memories are always making a fool of me. But I'm learning to ever flow with the tide. Cause I don't know what's in the So there's the bit where I had concerns. Um, water, I kind of ran out of um, kind of ran out of breath towards the end there. So just listen to this with me, won't you, please? And let me know if you think this is too much. If I should go for a different take on this one, or if it's gonna if it's gonna be alright. Because I don't know what's in the water, and I don't know. You can hear that the water. <laughs> because I don't have a lot much breath there. Let's let's sub in uh, take four and see if this is going to be better on that one. Hey, but I'm learning to ebb and I don't know what's in the water. And I don't know if I can win. That see, I really like that because I like that win. So I reckon we might use take four for that chunk. So let's come here. Cause I don't. So, cause I don't. Cause I don't. So, this is going to be a little tricky spot to uh, to to trim it because we need that little breath there. So, we'll split there. Remember, non-destructive editing, so we can change this afterwards. So, what we want is we want all of three to be in that chunk. So, we're happy with all of three up to that bit. We're going to split that bit out. Boom, and we're going to find. This slot here, I normally like to split them right on a, a bar marker, but it's not going to work for this one because of the syncopated rhythm there. And uh, see if we're going to play all this one through here. Because I don't know what's in the water. And I don't know if I can win. There might be more under the surface, but it's time to dive in. It might be worth doing that because what I can do, I 
all of that was good. And what it means I can do is use, yeah, I can, I can use all of that. Um, so I'll use all of that from four, which means we'll use three for this part. And then all the rest of this we'll use from four. And we'll bring that up and pop that there. So you can see here that we haven't done a lot of changes. Most of it's come from three. But in that little section, we used vocal take two. And this end bit, because I'd run out of breath in three, we switched it over to four. And now what we can do is come back and uh, listen to it all the way through and see if this is going to work for us for this, uh, this whole section. So uh, wish me luck, folks. All my life I've worried about the things in the water I cannot see. Got this panic washing over me. Have a fear of what might sting and what those circling sharks will bring. Maybe I'll be safer on the shore. Cause I don't know what's in the Okay. I'm reflecting my memories are always making a fool of me. But I'm learning to ever flow with the tide. Cause I don't know. Yeah, you heard what happened there. That's the problem that you have with this sort of stuff is that sometimes when you move things like this not right on a bar marker, you get that issue. So uh, we can fix it though. We'll just change it there. Cause I don't know what's in the water And I don't know if I can win There might be more under the surface But it's time to dive in Now we can build out a uh, double or we can even use triples in different parts. So if we wanted to, we can play around with that uh, as we go through and mix. So again, it doesn't matter so much with the, the doubles and the triples. So what I would actually probably do, because it you could, the, the, first, the only problem with the first vocal here was that it um, was a little bit soft, like it didn't have quite as much energy. But when using a double, kind of doesn't need to so this might actually work well to just use this first version and because i was using that to kind of sing along to it should sit nicely so let's just uh use this as our double and see what it sounds like all my life i've worried about the things in the water i cannot see got this panic washing over me have a fear of what might sting and 